In this video, I show you how to play a 12 bar blues jazz chord progression on guitar. We'll first begin with the standard 12 bar blues that forms the basis of a lot of music. From here, I then show you step by step how to convert the standard blues into a jazz blues progression. Hi, this is Simon Candy from Acoustic Guitar Lessons Online.net, and in this lesson, we'll build a jazz blues together step by step. Jazzing up the blues is a lot of fun and sounds great. It's also a great introduction to some common jazz chords and progressions if this style of playing is new to you without straying too far from the standard 12 bar blues. So let's get into it. Okay, so a jazz blues. Let's first establish a key. We'll go with the key of G here. And let's just play through a standard 12 bar blues first. Then I'll add the pieces needed to transform, if you like, the standard blues into a cool sounding jazz blues progression. So first, standard jazz, um, jazz standard blues progression in G. So we'd have a G7 chord of sorts. I'm going to use this G7 here. It's a nice sort of jazzy voice in of a G7. Um, I'll use a C9 chord for when the C chord comes up, the four chord of our blues in G. And then the five chord is, of course, D, and I'm going to use a dominant ninth for that as well. Okay, rather than just the dominant seventh, just voicings I like. Okay, so there's lots of voicings we could use for anything. So I'll just choose some pretty cool voicings that you may or may not know, but might be a good opportunity to learn some new chord voicings as well here today. So if I just play a standard blues there, four bars of our G, one, two, three, four, then our four chord C, back to our G, Five chord, four, the one. Okay, so that's a standard 12 bar blues using you know, dominant chords in the key of G. Okay, so first step here is we're gonna make this a quick change blues. Now, what is a quick change blues? It's when you come in with the four chord early in the second bar of the blues. So the first four bars, instead of being just G7 for four bars, it's gonna be G7 for one bar. The second bar will go to the four chord, C, and then back to the G in bars three and four, and then on as per usual through the 12 bar into the four chord and so forth. Okay, so let me play through the progression again here, this time with the quick change, with the C chord coming in bar two. So that's a one, two, three, four, so one, two, here it is. C, back to G, and then to the C again, as per usual. The G, five chord D, four, G, and the D. Okay, so that's the first step, just simply moving into the four chord in the second bar. It's known as a, as a quick change blues. And so that's very common in a jazz blues, but it's actually pretty common across all blues. It can be either the quick change or not the quick change. I'd say about 50% of the time at a guess it is, and the other 50% obviously um, it isn't. So that's the first step, adding in the quick change. Okay, so the next step is going to be adding in one of the most common chord movements in jazz, which is a 2-5-1 progression. So what happens is in bar four of the progression, we're gonna put a two five that leads into the C four chord in bar five. What I mean by that is that the two chord will be a D minor, the five chord will be the G seven into the C, which will be the one. So I know that's the four chord, but in the context of the chord movement here, the two five is leading to C. So C kind of you could say in that context, in that little excerpt, we could call C the one chord. It's the two, the five, and it leads nicely into the one, which is the four chord of the progression. So hopefully that doesn't confuse you. But that happens very often. In, that's, that, that happens in a standard jazz blues progression. In the fourth bar, you have a two five that leads into the four chord. Okay, so how does that sound? Well, we've got our G to our four, back to G. Here we go. Okay, right there. So in that fourth bar, you got the D minor, the G, and the C. So as I said, that's like a two, 
five, one, and then you proceed through your blues as per usual. There's other things coming up, but we're just layering in the changes to change this into a jazz blues chord progression. So let me play through it for you here so you can hear the results so far. So we've got the one to our quick change. Back to one, here's the two, five, the four, Okay, so we've got our quick change and we've got our 2-5 leading into the 1 or the 4 chord in, in bar 5. Next, what we do is we add a diminished chord into bar 6. So rather than two bars of the 4 chord C in bars 5 and 6, we will play the 4 chord in bar 5, but in bar 6 we're going to play this chord, a C sharp diminished. You play one half step above the 4 chord, make it a diminished, that's a very common movement in a jazz blues. It sounds really cool. You've got this C, and then the diminish, and back into the one chord in bar whatever that is there, bar seven, I think. Eight, yeah, seven. Um, all right, so let's hear that. So we're obviously hearing a little bit of a hybrid thing here at the moment, a bit of a jazzy blues that kind of is still standard in a lot of ways because, again, it is gradually coming into its own sound being the jazz blues. So let's hear what we've got so far. We've got our one into our four, back to one, here's the two five. Now here, four, diminish, all right, one, the one chord, yeah, the five, four, and then the one, and the five, and back to one okay so it's kind of a not odd sounding but it's kind of a little bit of both at the moment however it's going to become more jazzy in a moment because what we do next um, remember so far what have we done we've got the quick change we've got the two to the five leading into that four chord we've got our diminished in the second bar where there would normally be the four chord still now here we go back to the G Okay, for a bar. Then we get this sequence that goes a uh, uh, six chord to a two, five, oh, sorry, that should be a minor. So a six, two, five, one. Okay, so when I come from, let's say we take it from the four chord to the diminish. So we go to the one here, G, and then the six. And then the 2, which is A minor, to the D5, back to the 1. Okay, so this happens over bars 7 and 8, 9 and 10. Okay, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So 7, you go to G. In, now, normally you'd stay on G for two bars, but we're going to go G, and then the second bar of G, the eighth bar, will be the E dominant. That's the sixth chord. We're in the key of G, so we're referring to the numbers here as they fall in the key of G. E is the six, A minor is the two, D is the five, and G, of course, is one. And there's that two, five, one again, this time leading to the G, before we had the two, five, one leading to the C. Okay, so some kind of... Um, yeah, moving key centers there a little bit as often happens in jazz. Okay, so this provides really nice movement around that seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth bars. So let's have a listen to our blues now. We're almost there um, with this movement added. Okay, so we've got our G to our C4, quick change, back to G, two, five, four, diminished. Here we go, one. one and the five back to one okay so you can really start to hear the jazz influence here now with the movement of the chords and some common jazz movements such as two five one and six two five one very common chord progressions in the world of jazz okay there's only one thing left to do here and we've kind of almost really done it already because this movement we just did the G um, the six 
to the two, to the five, and then to the one here again, we actually repeat that for the turnaround. So the turnaround of the blues is bars 11 and 12. Normally in a standard blues, you have G for a bar in G, so the one chord, and then you have the five chord in, bar, in the last bar, in bar 12. That's fine. But in a jazz blues, there's more movement. It's actually gonna play the G to the six, the one to the six, the two, the five, back to the one. Okay, it's actually what we just did in bars seven, eight, nine, and 10, but we reduce that or compress that into two bars. So instead of a bar on each chord, it's half a bar on each chord. Okay, so let me play it so you can hear it in context and see what I mean. So we have our G to our four, quick change, comes two, five, into the C, diminished, C sharp diminished, is the one six two five and then here it is half bars one six two five and one okay so that's our turnaround one the six two five one okay so it's the exact chord movement you just did but reduced into two bars, half bars on each chord, not a full bar on each chord. So it's an easy way to remember it. Okay, one thing I just want to mention here before we finish up, you might notice I'm sort of putting in some bass notes to connect the chords, which you can do, you don't have to do, you can keep it pretty, you know, you can keep it pretty straight and you don't have to do that. You might notice I've been doing that. If you like that sort of thing, click the link in the, not in the description, click the link in the top right corner of this video, that little uh, information symbol there, and it'll take you to a other video that I've done on the channel all about walking bass lines. So if you like that sort of sound, check that video out because um, I'll walk you through, pardon the pun, uh, creating a walking bass line. I didn't mean that. Um, creating a walking bass line on guitar. It's one of my favorite sounds. It's really, really cool. And it's not actually that hard to do. Um, so uh, check that out if you like that. Otherwise, enjoy the jazz blues and um, see if you can get some of those chord voicings down into your own playing. If you like the blues progression I showed you in today's video, then you will love this free ebook audio, How to Build Your Very Own Acoustic Guitar Fingerpicking Blues Song. In this ebook, I break the 12 bar blues down into four key areas, making it easier for you to understand the structure of a blues. The whole book then goes about showing you how to approach each one of these areas of the blues with a variety of fingerpicking riffs and licks from which to create your arrangement. The best thing is I'm gonna give you an inch and then show you how to take a mile by demonstrating how to create variation upon variation of a finger picking blues using the riffs you learn in the ebook. So click the link in the description below this video and download your free ebook audio, how to build your very own acoustic guitar finger picking blues song. Let me know in the comments section what guitar topics you would like to see covered in future videos. I read every comment and I would love to hear your suggestions. If you like this video, then hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the all important notification bell button so YouTube can tell you when I've released a new video. This is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net. As always, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.